everybody welcome to taste to explore my name is darling now on today's episode i'm bringing you an a fantastic dish it is so delicious i'm sure you've eaten it in a bunch of times in restaurants we are making coconut shrimp yes that's right coconut shrimp right at home super easy and wait till you see the ingredients super easy so stick around as I walk over to the basic ingredients to get started. Let's get right to it. Right here, I have a pound of shrimp that have been cleaned, deveined, and the shell is removed and I just left the tails on. Over here, I have a half a cup of flour, just additional flour. I'm going to show you what I'm going to need for this. I have a cup and a half of sweetened coconut flakes. I have a half a cup of panko bread crumbs seasoned, but you could get plain if you want. I have a one large egg. I have salt to taste, pepper to taste, and a teaspoon of um, paprika. I have one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. I have two cloves of fresh grated um, garlic. Uh, one cup or so of salsa water. Now let's begin. In our batter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mix the dry ingredients that's inside here. And we're going to make like a stationary where we're going to be dipping in this batter. Now we're going to dip here first, here, and here. But I'm just going to show you. Don't worry about it. So right now... I mix together the one cup of flour and the two teaspoons of baking powder and I'm going to mix in my fresh uh, grated garlic. You can use, you know, granulated garlic if you want, but you know, I like the fresh stuff. So that's what I'm going to do and the salt and seasonings is really simple, really easy. But oh my god, such a crowd pleaser, let me tell you. Perfect, perfect. If you have company over and you want to make an, an amazing appetizer or it's just something that you want to snack on for dinner or something. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing, okay? Be careful when you open up your club soda. This was almost spilled on me. Okay, now all I need is a cup or so, just enough to make a nice wet batter. What this is going to do, this is going to make the, the batter nice and crispy on the shrimp. Similar to like a beer batter, except that we're not using any beer. So I'm just going to mix this together until I get the consistency of, uh, let's say, um, like a pancake mix. Batter is just perfect. As you can see, you have to eyeball it. So you're gonna use roughly a cup and maybe just a little bit more. So just keep a good eyeball on it. But you see, this is exactly what we want. Give it a taste. I did. The seasonings were perfect. Now, we're going to put this to the side for a bit. I want to tell you about this. Now, let's just mix this together. This is what's going to give it that nice crunch and that coconut flavor. And it's just, just marvelous. Really, really simple really easy you can even make this in advance if you want it to okay excellent now this is how you're gonna do it with our shrimp okay let's get this in order I have my assembly line ready now let's begin what you're gonna do here you're gonna get a cookie sheet you're going to wrap it with either aluminum foil or parchment paper because we're going to pop this in the freezer when all this is dreaded for 30 minutes. But let's, let's begin. So this is my shrimp. I cut it down in the middle to make like a butterfly. 
you can leave it closed if you want, but I like to clean in the center and I just left the tails on. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take just a, like a half a cup or less of um, plain flour and it's just to dread it so that way the batter can stick to it. So we're just going to shake it any excess off. We're going to dip it in our batter. And then we're going to make sure that all the excess of the batter is kind of off as much as possible. And then we're going to put it in our coconut mixture. If you get close, you can see coconut mixture. And then voila. Here we go. So then we're just going to place it down. And I'm going to put these to freeze. I'm going to do one more. Place in our batter. Make sure all the excess is out. And then coat it lightly until everything is covered in the panko and the um, coconut flakes. The panko uh, crumbs is so, is so good in this. It just gives it a nice crispy, light, you know, light texture. It's really, really awesome in this recipe. So I'm going to continue with this and I'll see you right back. Welcome back. Well, I have my uh, shrimps in the freezer for about 30 or 40 minutes and it's important to do that when you're working with a batter like this because you want everything to be tightly in you know entwined with the shrimp if not if you put it directly to the hot oil it's just gonna fall apart but this way it ensures it being you know stuck firmly on the shrimp so right now I have about a cup of canola oil you can use corn oil any kind of clear oil will do. And now I'm going to place them in. And you hear the sizzling? Oh my God, it's going to be delicious. I have the oil on high, heating up for about 375. If you have a candy thermometer. And you don't want to crowd the pan just enough for it to cook we want it nice and crunchy and golden brown on both sides and then that's it i'm going to show you how it looks when it's all done a minute or so i'm just going to turn it around see nice light golden brown that's what you want you don't want to overcook shrimps now they get rubbery and don't crowd your pan and then that's it. I'm going to show you how it looks when everything is all done. Welcome back. Well, look at my shrimps. They're all done. Well, I still have some cooking in the back stove. And I just lined up my plate with um, some um, paper towels to catch up all the grease. But they are delicious, my friends. And these are going to be for my family, so I don't want to... You know take a bite out of it because let me tell you they are addicting and i'm not going to put myself to that because if i take one i'm just going to want to take them all so thank you so much for spending time with me in my kitchen i hope you give this a try and make them and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and share the videos i need more subscribers so help me build my channel and i thank you so much don't forget I have um, Instagram and Facebook. Give me, you know, visit me, uh, tag me, um, and don't forget to, you know, friend me in those areas. So stick around because there's such much more deliciousness coming to you. So take care. Bye-bye.